Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a self-signed SSL certificate. So what I mean by self-signed certificate. All right, so go to google.com and you see here HTTPS. So that means it's a secure website. So every HTTPS website has an associated certificate, SSL certificate. You go here and check for yourself what is that. So certificate information is here and who is it issued to? It is issued to google.com and issued by GTSCA. So this is what I was, I'm talking about the topic for today. So instead of going to CA for a certificate, we can create ourselves our own self-signed certificate, right? So for production grade, obviously you have to consult the CA, that is certification authority. And for testing purpose, you can create your own certificate. All right, so issued by GTSCA101. So GTS is obviously, Google is a big company and they have their own certification authority. So let's check what is GDS. So GDS is nothing but Google Trust Services, right? So let's check for Google, I mean, uh, wikipedia.org. So here's C and it is issued to wikipedia.org and issued by DigiCert. So this is a third party CA and which Wikipedia is using. I mean, they're consulting this authority to get the SSL certificate. So I'm gonna show how to create our own self-signed certificate. So we're gonna use a simple uh, uh, open SSL command, and these are the major steps here. So this, I have listed down all the commands required for creating a self-signed certificate. The first one, you have to act as a CA. So for that, you need a certificate. First, you will create a certificate uh, to be considered at, as CA, right? So that's the first step. The second step is to request a server certification signing request to this CA, right? So assume that you have an application or a web server, right? So from there, you are going to request a signing request to this CA. That means that is yourself. And the third step is sign this server certificate signing request with this CA certificate and give it to this server. So this is the uh, step, these are the steps in summary. Let's see one by one. Okay, I have listed down the commands here. So, okay, this is the first step to create a CA certificate. Let me execute this as is, right? So before testing, make sure that you are on a empty folder, right? So this I'll explain, I have a script, I'm gonna explain that as well. So you make sure that you are on a empty folder because I'm deleting, I mean, you should not interfere with existing certificates. So to test, you should have a test folder. So I don't have anything in this folder. I'm gonna execute this first command. So this is open SSL request of type, uh, this is the current uh, type we are, I mean, supplying and then new key of type RSA and 4096 bit encrypted, the validity, and the key file and certificate file, right? These are the basic information we're gonna provide. Okay, so you need to enter a passphrase. This is to make sure that uh, our CA key is protected. All right, so now it is asking the DN, distinguished name. So this is nothing but our issuer details. So here, right? we had this issuer so this information you are, need to keep now this information basically right so let me provide the basic information so the country name from its india and state city and organization name so think that you are a CA authority. So I say my CA, that means I'm a CA, certification authority, right? So again, I'll keep saying my CA 
common name. This is an organization, right? Star.myca.com. So this is the domain which will be issuing your certificate. Email address test at myca.com. All right, so the certificate is created. Let me ex examine those, right? So I have a CA, .key, CA key and CA cert. Let's cat and see what is in. Okay, so notice here it is encrypted private key because we entered the pass price, so it is encrypted. Okay, so this is the actual CA certificate. Okay, so there is a method to check the content in a human readable form. So for that, we're gonna use this command. So this is human readable uh, format. So the we certificate I'm gonna pass. So this is in human readable form, the version the serial number, every certificate will have a serial number and this is the XA value and signature algorithm SHA-256 and this is the issuer, so it's me, all right? So here also same value you can see. So if it is a production grade uh, certificate, it will be actual uh, certification authority, like for example, GTS for Google. All right, so we have this CA certificates created. The first step is done. Right, so first step is done. Now the second step. We need to create a, okay, we need to create a signing request now. So this is the command for that. So the command is request new key. Note that I'm not gonna give this because this is a request and this is not a certificate. So this is actually for trusted type certificates. So I'm just gonna re request a signing, uh, I mean, send a signing request to the CA server. So this command I'm going to use as is. Open SSL request of type new key, so and so. And notice here it's server key and server request. It's not a certificate. Again, it's asking for passphrase to encrypt the server key. All right. So now it is asking for me the DN, distinguished name. Okay, now I'm gonna slightly change the company because here I'm an individual. I have a web server, for that server, I'm requesting a CA certificate. Let me put it like this. Okay, I don't think it will work. Let me see. Okay, I'll say my app because this is a website, right? So keep name, same. Okay, this is a domain where I will be applying my certificate. It should be star.myapp.com. Paste at myapp.com. Okay, it's asking for some additional uh, thing. I am not sure about this. Let me give some basic stuff. Okay, so now the signing requests are created. Let's just examine the content. So these two are the newly created signing requests and signing keys. All right, so let's cat this key first. Okay, this is again the same encrypted private key. And this is a request, not a certificate, right? So this is actually a request, not a certificate. You can notice here. Okay, we have completed this two steps. One, SSL, I mean, uh, CA certificate creation and creating a request. Now the third step, signing the CA certificate. So I'm gonna use this CA certificate to sign. I'm gonna act as CA using these certificates. Okay, so this is the command, open SSL. Again, because this I'm using for certificate, so I'm gonna use 509, request in 
so I'm gonna input the request which I have created in this command, right? So this is uh, input file, and notice here CA. I'm gonna use the CA which I have created in this step. So in the production grade, this should be done by a CA, and they will have their own certificate. And CA key, CA key is nothing but this one, right? So the CA is identified identified by these two things CA certificate and CA key all right and this one CA create serial so every certificate I mean sign certificate will have a signed I mean uh, uh, sign certificate will have a serial key as I shown uh, above I'm gonna ex ex show that again right so the out is server signed certificate dot pm so let's execute this so make sure that you provide the input value which is created from step number two. Open SSL, request to sign, fulfilling the signing request. Yeah, okay, see here, getting a CA private key. This is a key which you have mentioned initially during this step. This is verification, not a new encryption. So enter the passphrase for CA key dot PEM. So this key is encrypted and that decryption key it needs. Okay, that's done. So let us see if the signed certificate is available or not. Yeah, server signed certificate. This is the name I had given and this is the file. Notice there is a new file here, uh, csert.srl. So this is the serial value of this certificate, right? Notice here, uh, this you can find it in this certificate as well, right? So let, let's examine that certificate. What is the content in a human readable form? Okay, so it's sign, service sign, cert.pm. Yeah, service sign, cert.pm. Okay, version one, serial number, so and so. So this serial number and that what I showed should match. And uh, signature type, SHA-256, issuer, that's me. Right, again, uh, issuer same. Notice here, it is valid for, valid for one month, 30 days, right? Did I mention that? Uh, no, I didn't mention by default it's 30 days. So you can actually put days is equal to whatever you want. Let me try that. So first remove this. Okay, normally it won't be 365, but 60 days. I'll generate a new file, cert.1. Okay, for verification. Yeah. I have created this new one. Let me examine this. Okay, so September to November. So this is six, 60 days. So that way you can manipulate your signed certificates. So that's all folks. So in summary, I have shown you how to create a self-signed SSL certificate for test environment. Remember it's for test environment, right? So these are the steps in summary, create a CA to act yourself as the CA and create a signing request from server to the CA and the CA will sign using its CA certificate and send it back to you. So that's the process to create a self-signed SSL certificate. Hope with, uh, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll come up with some other interesting topic. See you later.